I, uh, testing Mexican, I don't know, Allahu Akbar. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Get Out of Hell. And like I said, Dying Light should be coming out tomorrow or sometime soon. And also pre-order GTA 5, so expect that. Now let's go, I don't know, slap Blackbeard's titties around. As soon as I collect a cluster. No! Stop it! You dirty whore. Abandoned ship! We've been boarded! Things off my ship. Wait, we're protecting him? Oh, okay. So we're gonna fight him. Oh yeah, forgot I switched my melee to mouse button four. Thank you, Jeebus. Wait, what are those? Are those bombs? I think those are bombs. God dang it. Stop it. It'll stop all. There we go. God dang it. You know what? No. I got a bit of treasure in that chest over there. The weapon you find inside may help with our little imp problem. So Blackbeard's actually Ooh. giving me treasure? Huh. Something you don't... Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, charging, okay. Summon these imps to serve as my crew. I forgot what a handful they could be. Once aboard, they wouldn't listen to their captain. They ran amok in the bowels of the ship. A toast to you, good sir. So yeah, I don't know what much to say. I have a hammer. And I'm beating imps because Blackbeard is apparently my friend. Get off of him! What pirate voice would that be? Wow. Oh God! Forgot. Zinyak's destruction of Earth had a profound impact on the afterlife. To heaven, it was a logistical nightmare. Saint Peter's meticulous nature drove purgatory wait times to unbearable levels. Meanwhile, in hell, where souls in pain were used as currency, it created a new era of prosperity for the wickedly enterprising. This economic boom resulted in the coffers of hell to be overflowing, which in turn piqued the interest of the most notorious man that sailed the Seven Seas. Long had Blackbeard been a thorn in Satan's side, robbing tax collectors on a semi-regular basis. But the promise of an immeasurable fortune drove him to be even bolder. An arrangement was reached. Blackbeard would provide information on strategic targets in exchange for a share of the profit. Johnny, who was interested in murder, not money, happily agreed. I forgot to set up the recording again. Or Grant ye the ability to summon my crew whenever they're needed. Set up the timer. Okay, yes.
Okay, summon tutorial. Do I really need that? I guess. All right, matey. It's time for your lesson. Let's summon me favorite scurvy little hellion, the imp. Why don't you start off by summoning an imp to take out those enemies? <laughs> there you go, matey. Now take down the other. Those oh, angle biters are vicious. Now let's practice your aim. Take down the demons on the islands. Oh no! Oh wait, what? Did I just jump in midair? Shakespeare. Okay. Can see switch? Nah. I'm cool. Actually, you know what? Let's do it! Don't mind if I do. Okay then. Sure. Let's play Kinsey for a bit. Might switch off every now and again. I raided a center pole office. In fact. Okay, I still have my guns, that's good. Information on where the president is being kept. Evidently, they've been trapped in some sort of soul crystal inside Satan's palace. Breaking in is an impossibility. Your best bet to save them is to continue to try to draw Satan out of his palace. Yeah, it's not inverted anymore. Oh, lightning. What? The frick? Okay, okay. And what the frick kind of moans is she making when she gets shot? Seriously. And I don't know whether to take pride or something else into the fact that I could probably imitate them. Probably something else. <laughs> More than likely. More clusters! <laughs> Uh, I don't care about the going slow. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this for a little bit. No! Step! Step it! Reference Shaun of the Dead? Lots. No, 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 I'm good. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Not only is this just for clusters, uh, it's also good practice with the new flying mechanic. I say new because if you've ever played this, it is really, actually really weird. Uh, weird to control and all that. things can do.
This is bad for my OCD. There. Let's see what I can get now. <coughs> okay, so just blah de blah. Wait, bro demons? Excuse me. The frigger bro demons. Elements. What do we have here? Imp. Okay. <laughs> Upgrade the imp to summon imp. Uh, speed flight. Two flaps. Okay. Fire jump, another flap, and more speed. That's enough for now because I know you guys are getting bored, probably. Pfft. Sorry about that. You alright? Yeah, you're cool. Excuse me. Whoops. Oh, can I not, like, do the sprinting moves that are, like... Okay, I guess not. Mm, gunshot. I know I... I know what I said, I'm sorry. Wipe notoriety, okay. Or notoriety, whatever. Whatever you would like to say. Owned, okay. In that case, gimme. It's only 300. Okay. Already have a weapon. I... Okay. Huh. He... Actually, this. So, do you what? Okay. What about this? I'm going to go with the hammer, I do believe. <laughs> yeah, let's start off with that.
Lights up. William Shakespeare, humanity's greatest playwright, and hell's most diabolical purveyor of entertainment, looks on as a brave mortal on an Orphean quest enters. The bard's interest is piqued, and he looks to test his visitor's mettle. The masked tragedies were used to enemies cowering as they approached. But soon they realized that they faced a foe with courage and nobility. Traits uncommon in the fires of perdition. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, okay. So it's a laser. It's kind of crap, to be honest. Frog! Did that not do anything? Frog! Uh, okay. and blood flew. The bard arched a curious eyebrow. Could this mortal be the exact thing that Shakespeare needed? God, Kent, this battle is far from over, mortal. Arise! And who exactly are you? What? Okay, freaking flying dingleberries. Yeah, give me that rifle. Shakespeare's weapon kind of sucks. At least until it's upgraded. Shakespeare eagerly awaited meeting the champion that dispatched so many of his men. Undoubtedly, they were here for the Bard's aid. And while happy endings were not a thing found in Hell, Shakespeare always had a soft spot for companies. In the land of the living, William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the most prolific playwrights of all time. Oh, manus. However... To the denizens of Hell, the Bard is seen in a far different light. After selling his soul for fame and adoration, Shakespeare served in Hell as Satan's spy master general. In doing his duty, Shakespeare would punish the souls he was investigating by forcing them to perform in grotesque passion plays for Satan's amusement. But in a Twelfth Night-esque twist, Shakespeare found himself living a double life. While he projected an image of cruelty, his heart was as soft as Jezebel's. In secret, he would tutor her on the classics and act out the works of his mortal days. When Satan found out, 
He cast Shakespeare out of the palace, believing that the poet would be tormented by the populace of hell, far out of Jezebel's sight. But Satan had not counted on the bard's cunning. Embracing his persona of master torturer, Shakespeare and his followers, the tragedies, took root in the entertainment district, biding their time for revenge. So Shakespeare called forth the deus ex machina to bestow our protagonist with the arcane power of horse stomp. Oh no. Oh, okay. Lights up. The mortal stands in the training grounds, eager to try out his new force stomp power on the group of demons in front of them. Hmm. That sound. Uh, give me a second. Controls. Da -da -ba -da -da. Foot. No. General. Uh, huh, uh, I push to talk. No, I want you. One foot. Use power. Q. No. No mouse. No. Or mouse button five. Mouse button five. I don't care about talking in game. I'm gonna be doing solo anyway. In which our protagonist kills more demons with Act 2. In which our protagonist is greeted by foul imps. Come on at me. Three. In which our protagonist learns that Force Stomp even works on flying enemies, enabling them to remove a dark. The day is won, and the curtain closes on our noble hero. No, oh, I forgot. Frickin' boob physics. <sighs> Forgot all about that. Well, I guess that actually worked out. Shakespeare seems like kind of a Kinsey person. Vlad would definitely be good. Looking forward to stretching my way. Okay, that works. Go down here, Fucking hit that bullet. one, flap up right over here, or fail completely because I suck. So, yeah, okay. It's the 20 minute mark, so I am going to end the video here. And I'm just going to be flying collecting orbs for a little bit, because that's kind of how I play. Like, in the Far Cry series, the first thing that I did is, I would always do, is go out and kill all the animals, skin them, so I can upgrade all of my things. Like, first thing, that would be the first thing that I would ever do. <laughs> so, yeah. Fear not that I will do make any progress. And I shall be back once I get all the clusters near here. So, again, I'm gonna try out a new outro. You know, you heard it last video. Why not? 
We are all Mexicans if thou does not proceed to process thy information in their mental capacity. And... Ta-da. Yeah.